Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I wanted to show you my mostly 3D printed camera slider. The way it works is actually really simple. I kind of got inspired by watching elevator doors and forklifts. They have uh, belts and things that increase the amount of movement for a given amount of movement of one of the components. So, what happens here is you've got the solid frame and then you've got one moving trolley and a stationary trolley over here that is attached to the tripod head, presumably, if you have one. And then I've got a toothed belt that I got off of Amazon. It's typically used for things like positioning of 3D printers, scanners, and whatnot. Um, so then I 3D printed all these other plastic parts to hold it all together. The only thing on here that is not 3D printed, of course, are the metal parts. So the nuts and bolts and these rails and the bearings. These rails are simply half-inch EMT conduit. They're lightweight, they're really, really sturdy, and they work really, really well. I mean, a 10-foot piece of conduit's not more than a couple bucks. So uh, I could have made something really huge had I wanted to. But then, of course, I was going for portability, so that wouldn't have worked out so well, maybe. So you can see I've got two rails that are just half-inch EMT conduit on four-inch centers. Then I've got bearings at 45 deg or 90 degree angles to each other such that these can pass over center of each other. I've got the larger platform on top because if something were to fail on the bearings, then the platform falls and just simply hits the rails. Whereas if it were the other way, it could fall through and then the camera could end up hitting the rails or hitting the ground. So this belt mechanism though gives you this compound action. The belt runs all the way around the belt is attached to each of the trolleys and then runs over these 3D printed toothed um, wheel pulleys at the end. So with this, pan with this trolley here mounted to a tripod like so, you can get this over center travel which is really really nice. It goes all the way over this way and all the way over this way. So you can get a huge amount of uh, sliding action. The downside is you got to have one heck of a stout tripod head to support this thing when it's you know way out here. But of course, I can always take all this apart and then just set it on the desk because I've got places here I can put rubber feet here on the end of my end plates that support the rails. And then I can still get, oh, 20, 22 inches of slide, which is really nice. I can also swap the wheels for these little stand adapters here, and then I can mount this thing on two of my lighting stands. and it doesn't have to be horizontal. I can get some really funky things here. I can do simulated crane shots, and then of course I can do dolly zooms, or just standard slider shots. This is definitely one of the cooler 3D printed things that I've made. It's super, super useful, and uh, I just think it's a whole lot of fun. Everyone that sees something like this is like, oh wow, that's pretty neat. But that's pretty much it. I kind of hope this helps you out and inspires you to go make something similar on your own. You don't have to use 3D printed parts for this. I actually originally designed this thing to be made out of wood, and I got partway through cutting pieces on my table saw and bandsaw before I realized, hey, I could 3D print this stuff. So I did, but you could definitely use wood or metal if you would like. I'm Mike Thompson. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.